Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make googly eyes like this for your puppet. So a while ago, I did a four-episode tutorial series on how to build a monster puppet. That hey, series. Oh, hey, how's called? it going? No, no. Well, why don't you hang out with us for a minute? All right. Now that series, it's actually one of my favorite series that I did. My original series with that green guy is like literally like 22 episodes long. This series is condensed, and you can get the whole building puppet building process in these four 10-minute episodes. So it's the yeah. whole kit and caboodle all in one. But in having this character around for a while, we noticed that he was kind of zany looking. And we thought one thing that might help enhance this character is this character having a googly eye. Yeah. You know, we thought about having both of them kind of googly, but I thought that might be too much. So you can choose that for yourself, whether you want to do both eyes or just one eye. So I'm going to show you that process right now. Wait a minute. You're not going to rip my eye off on camera, are you? <laughs> we are going to rip your eye off. <laughs> One more point I want to make about this too, the materials that I'm using for this, you don't have to use the same materials, nah, nah. okay? I, I'm using pins and plastics and velvet, and, and that's what I have at, in my shop right now. That's what he's got. So that's what I'm using. But for you, uh, some people like to use a screw instead of a pin. Some people like to use plastic for the eyes instead of, instead of the velvet. So really, you can just use these ideas and these principles to create it the way that you would create it. I'm showing you one technique that works really well for me. All right, let's get started. Yeah. Oh, we almost forgot. We have to take off your eye oh. first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I see. Yes, yeah. Did Binky tell you about this by uh, any chance? Screaming Binky. Uh, We're just going to grab no. his eye. I thought carrots were good for your eye. Oh, my God. Yeah. I saw that video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Binky had quite a, a response to it, but. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty good with pain, though. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me just take off your eye. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Use this one instead. That's my good eye. Okay. Take that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll take off this one then. All right, All right you ready? Let's see. Not as... Nope. Hey, oh. my contact. That's my contact lens. You took that pretty well. Yeah. I got a fish eye now. All right, let's get started. I made a whole nother video on how to make pupils for your puppet. I would definitely recommend checking out that one too, as we're gonna be using a lot of the same materials. So I show how to use them in there. But we're using the sticky back velvet, and this leather is just gonna be for the back of the punch. So first thing I'm gonna do is choose the size of the pupil. So I have my punch set ready here. This is the same size as the previous pupil, but what we're gonna to wanna to do is put a backing on it. And what I like to use is a thin packaging plastic. You can get this plastic from virtually anything, from old tools, if you buy new scissors. In this case, I have this package of markers. So these markers have this little plastic spot there, so I'm gonna use that. This thin plastic is gonna be perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is cut out a little piece of this velvet that's gonna fit onto that plastic. And you wanna stick it really well there. Once it's on there, now I'm gonna give it a little punch with the mallet. There we have it, our pupil, that's got a little bit more support with that plastic backing, and this can just be discarded. Now, like I mentioned before, some people like to use a screw. I like to use a pin, but this pin is a little bit too long, so I'm gonna have to cut it down. So now I have it about that big. Mine happens to be about a quarter of an inch long, but I might have to make it even shorter. The next thing I have to do is put a little hole in this that's big enough for it to spin around on. Now the best way to do that is to use a pin that's the same size, I'll get another new pin here, and stick it in, just like this. It's gonna take a bit of pressure to get through that plastic, but trust me, it'll go through. So now I have it through there, but as you can see, it's not loose enough to spin. So after you poke this pin through, what you're gonna wanna do is get a bigger pin or needle. So I have here this, uh, this I think this is a darning needle, so it's a lot thicker than the other one, if you see there. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna push this one through, and that's gonna open up that hole even wider so that the, the previous needle 
should be able to spin freely inside of it. So let's see. You don't want to go too big though, because if you go too big, then the head of, the, of this pin is going to slide through, and you definitely don't want that. Now let's see if this eye can spin freely on this pin. And look, just like that. It's able to spin freely, no problem at all. That's exactly what you want. Okay, so now we have our pupil ready, and we have our uh, little pin, which I'm going to call a baby nail for now. And we're going to put those to the side. Now what we have to do is prep the puppet. So it does matter what kind of eye you have here. You're going to want something really strong. So definitely you'd want this to be wood or a solid plastic. If this is a really thin like Easter egg or something like that, uh, this technique is, is not going to work. Put a little pencil dot where I think it should go, which is going to be about there for the hole. So now to drill this out, I'm not going to use a drill bit. I've not been able to find a drill bit that's small enough, so what I'm gonna actually do is use a needle. I'm gonna use one of the same needles, but I'm gonna put it into the chuck of a drill. Be very careful when doing this. Uh, anytime you're using tools and not in their traditional way, you're gonna wanna definitely wear uh, goggles. And again, just be extra careful. And don't push too hard. Since it doesn't have a cutting edge like a drill bit does, you have to go much slower. Line it up and then just slowly. Slowly drill there, and as you can see, it does go down in. It does work. All right, so now what I'm going to do is take my baby nail, stick it through the eye like that, and then what I'm going to do is line it up with that little hole. Then I'm going to slowly and carefully tap it to get it in. So now I got it lined up there, but you can see I got to hit it down in further. You want to give it swift, soft taps. And you don't want to hit it all the way in. You want to keep it loose enough that you can still spin the eye. Lastly, you'll notice the end of that pin is kind of shiny and it sticks out like a sore thumb. So I like to hit it with a little bit of sandpaper and then you put a little bit of black sharpie on the tip of it and then you're done. I'm done? <laughs> you're done. Yeah. So hey. how, how do you feel? Wow, look at that. Yeah, well, it's definitely a, a little bit of a gimmick in the puppet world, having a character like this. You definitely don't want to use this type of technique on all of your puppets, or even most of your puppets. Make sure it's just a special thing that it, that would fit that character really well. Again, don't willy-nilly be putting it on all your puppets just because you think it's cool. You want to make sure that it fits the character. And I think it fits this it character, fits. especially with his zany hair, his zany beard, wow. and now he's got a zany eye. Yeah, when, when people say, what's shaking? I can say, my <laughs> All right, well, shake your way out All of right. here. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, leave a comment down below what you would like to see, if there's any other techniques or tricks or tips that you want to learn. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.